Okay, to begin with, how it comes apart, I've uh, made some adjustments to this. For starters, when I first got this, there were tags here that clipped into here and here. And over time, they wore out. I ended up having to break them off. They don't really serve much of a purpose when the pump is like this. Sorry, when the fountain's like this. Because these two lock into here. And that's good enough. But when you tip it to dump out the old water, you have to make sure this thing doesn't fall into the sink. Just a bit of a heads up there. Filter comes out. Now, push here, two thumbs. Comes out. It should be noted that I had to file down this and this because otherwise it would grip too hard and there's no way to really pry the clips to make it come out that way. So if you get one of these, I suggest you file this and this down as well. This comes out. This simply finger right there. Out comes the clip. The pump, this pulls out. Now, this part, you should be able to work out with just fingernails. The same with this part here. This part here though, unless you have some really long, strong fingernails, you want to get yourself a pair of tweezers. Is that this is held in magnetically and a surprisingly good grip. Now, the filter should not be washed in soapy water. Instead, start by rinsing it backwards i.e. the water goes through the reverse that it normally does. Like this. And then, I find that the cat hair and stuff tends to collect out here over time. So I'll rinse it along the surface. And then I'll take it someplace, like in my bathtub shower, so I can really shake it to get all that water out. Now I wanted to say a word about the large grill piece here. For the longest time I would wash by swiping along the side and swiping along this side. And then one day I found out that a residue had built up over time that was not coming off even when I washed. So you actually have to wash inside the grill. Now there is a faster way to do this. Find yourself a thin cloth, 
put it over, get yourself a thin piece of metal like this, the, the handle of this knife, go in and then twist a bit to one side so that the knife pushes the cloth against the edges and then just simply go back and forth and then you just go through the slots and it's actually a lot faster when you're not holding it in position with the camera now there are a couple of other places where you want to take extra care to avoid buildup of food. For that, you need something hard and narrow. In my case, I have a file. What you want to do is take a damp cloth and put it over the end of the file or whatever you have and it's hard to there we are yep all right the two things that you want to use this on are This is the first one. See way deep down in here? You have sort of a little ridge that's on the inside. And you want to go in and work your way around. The first time I did that, I found a lot of deposit that had accumulated. Now, the other place you want to use that object is inside the pump mechanism itself, right in there. You also want to go around there with a very narrow object cloth covered in order to get out, again, food deposits that otherwise build up. Now, for the same reason you have to wash inside the grate, you also have to wash inside this thing. Again, a thin cloth is best. Cor corner of the cloth. And just twist and twist from one side. And flip it around find another corner of the cloth and repeat the process. And just a word, so that you can learn from my experience. There are four little pieces to this fountain that are little enough to go down your carburetor if you're not careful. So make sure you've got all four out of the water before you dump it. As well, 
The tweezers I showed you earlier, don't use them to take this off because that is the result. Alright, just a word to make sure you rinse this thoroughly, get all the soap off. The pump goes together the reverse of where, how it came apart. That in first, then this goes in, and then this onto it. Now when you put this in, if you put it in and it sticks, that's good, but if you put it in and it comes out too easy, you've got the wrong end, turn it around, put it in, it should stick. And then when you put it back down, look at the little square here, the rod should go lower right hand corner. Now to put it all together, first take these two things, snap them together. Then take this big piece and use your thumb or something like that. Put this on before you put this on because with this covering like that you cannot get your thumb there. Then take this piece snap it into place the filter remember the black side goes on the inside Sometimes I think there's a right and wrong way because it goes in easier this way. Remember, these two things here fit there and there, which lines it up with a pump spout. And you know you've got it lined up when it's not moving there. Now for my fountain, I will use purified water. Uh, it makes the filter last longer and why not give the little girl, why not spoil the little girl a bit. I will, once I get enough water in here, Raise the jug up, pour from a bit of a height, so that the water is immediately aerated. That way it's available as soon as she wants it, which could be right away. Then, plug it in, turn it on, and it is ready as soon as she wants it. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? One last note, 
notice a water level is right up to the edge. I do that because I find this fountain evaporates the water, which is good because that cools the water. But by filling it right up to the top, it will last a few days. I just want to make a quick point about this, the connection. I have had this fountain quit on me, or apparently quit on me, for no reason. And basically, if you play with this, if you take it apart, put it back together again, twist it around, because sometimes the connection gets lost in here, so just manipulating this can solve that problem. Here I want to say a quick word about the filters. The old style filters, they look like this. They are apparently being superseded by the new style. They look like this. And it looks like the two match in size. However, what I found was the new style, the one with the, the uh, six subsections, would not slide in here. It's, despite its looks, it apparently is thicker. So what I had to do, and again, I used my handy file to do it. I had to go in here and I had to scrape away to widen the gap in here to make the new style of filter fit. So you may hit the same problem.